get started. Okay. We are live. You guys want to continue to look at this? It's worse. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Massachusetts Parents United and National Parents Union. Uh, we're out here today in front of the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education in Malden, Massachusetts. Uh, as part of a National Day of Action with the Zen Education Project to demand that our schools and our educators teach our children the truth. The truth. Uh, we're very excited to be here this morning. We have organizers from 10 different states <laughs> and uh, we have a very important message to send to Desi this morning to Commissioner Riley uh, to all of the folks in this building um, that you know the time has come for us to see past the hype frankly see past a lot of the BS majority of parents in America want their children to be taught the truth even when it's hard we need to do the right thing if we're going to grow as a society if we're ever going to make any progress we have to start confronting the ugly truth of our history so that we don't um, So I'm so excited. I'm so excited uh, with some of the most powerful organizers in the country uh, to send a strong message. Again, representing from California, from Minnesota, again California, from Texas, from Massachusetts, from New Jersey. I don't think she's from New York. From New York. She's not. She's from New Jersey. Uh, from Pennsylvania. From Oklahoma. From New York, Come on now. Uh, with a clear message uh, that, that we want them to do the right thing. So we're proud as hell to be part of this movement. It's a national day of action. Uh, and we want to send our love and our strong support to all of our <laughs> we we're keeping it safe. Um, we want our schools open, but we want our kids safe. Um, and we need to be trusting our public health officials to make good decisions for our kids. And being honest with parents and families about what we need to do to make sure that our kids recover from unfinished learning. So, I don't need to do all the talking here. We've got some of the best in the building, business in the building around. So we're going to ask some folks. We actually asked the, the commissioner is not in the building today, but we asked him to send a representative down. Um, but, you know, we, we want to speak to all of you out there um, who follow us at the National Parents Union so you hear the message as well. Um, and, and some of these folks, you know, you guys have been fighting this before this was a fact. Before we were, we were talking about CRT, before people started distorting what that is, uh, we've been talking about this, you know, some of us for our entire organizing lives. Um, so we want folks to, to kind of step up and talk to it. Uh, first, Marissa, you want to... Buenos días a todo el mundo, especialmente los miembros del sindicato de padres. Queremos asegurar que ustedes todos sepan cuál es la verdad. Tenemos que enseñarnos a nuestros niños la historia mundial en total, sin requisitos, sin tener cosas amendadas. Es necesario que, que todos nuestros niños, nuestros futuros ciudadanos, entiendan cuál es la historia real del mundo entero sin que le den importancia tan grande a la raza blanca. Somos todos unidos, somos todos una, una raza mundial. Tenemos que aprender la historia mundial de nuestro país para poder asegurarnos no cometer los mismos errores cada año tras año. Es muy vital. También con respecto al COVID, estamos con máscaras puestas porque nosotros confiamos en la ciencia, en los médicos. Por favor, sigan las instrucciones de los profesionales del, de, del Departamento de Salud para poder asegurarnos que todos nuestros niños se queden cuidados, bien cuidados sin tener que, que sufrir una enfermedad que trae muerte para muchas personas, lamentablemente. Confíen en nosotros, confíen en su Departamento de Salud y exigen que todos los niños sean enseñados con la verdad, la historial de la verdad de este mundo. Gracias. Yeah, you want to show the other one? Yeah, I want to show the other one. There it is. Hey, everybody. Christina Laster here. So, you know, they want us to believe that we don't have a, a 
original history. Okay, they would like for me to believe as an Afro Latina, the, the mandate of colonization would like for me to believe and my children to believe that my ancestors started here as, as slaves and we don't have nothing past that. And that the other half of me came as illegal immigrants just to try to get something uh, out of the system. They don't want us to understand the truth about origin, the truth about being indigenous peoples here before it was colonized. And so there is an attempt to uh, erase our history, to erase who we are, to erase the roots of exactly where our children originated from ancestrally, and to not have an understanding of, of what who we are, what our names are even, right? Like how far can you go back in your history? And now, by setting a new mandate and saying that this is not appropriate, they're trying to establish a society and a culture around one Eurocentric ideology around one Eurocentric thought process, mm -hmm. and I call that a Eurocentric ethno state. So oh, this is not what, where we came from. This is not the truth. Mm -hmm. This is not what our children deserve to, deserve to learn about. Yeah. Our children should not be digging in their roots to find out where they came from and who they are and who they belong to when they get in their 20s. Mm -hmm. They should be able to know that their whole life, everybody has a right to know where they came from, where they originated from, and the process of that, and that no, we're not just workers. We're just not here to clean houses and pick fruit, okay? That we had established systems prior to being colonized, and that it's okay if we understand that so that it's not repeated. So I say to teach the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, because yeah. the truth yeah. will set you free. Yeah. All right. yeah. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. That's yeah. all we're asking for. Yeah. Those are the tenets upon which this country is built. Yeah. I didn't create it. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. So why aren't you holding yourselves to the very standard that you created? Critical thinking is part of the standards that you established. Yeah. Why are we not wanting to have our children think critically? Yeah. I'm not understanding what the disconnection is, but I am telling you as an educator that it is our mandate, it is our duty, it is our whole and complete responsibility to educate our students so that they can be globally competitive. Yeah. We are all interrelated. Has this pandemic not taught us that? Yeah. If we are not teaching our children to think not just about race, about life, yeah. about every aspect of life, then what exactly are we doing with them for six to seven to eight hours per day in a classroom? Yeah. What is being taught to our children in the classroom? Let me just be clear. American history is black history, yeah. is indigenous history. Yeah. Mexico is California, it was Texas. Did you not know that? Because you probably didn't learn that in school. But we're here to let you know it is time to teach the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And until that is being done, we're not going anywhere. Parent power, power to the people, get at us with the Zen Project. We're not going anywhere. Thank you.
Um, it was filled with pride. Students were like, I had no idea that this history existed. I didn't know that my history existed. I didn't know that there was so much power in my history and that my history helps me see my future. So it is incumbent upon us as teachers, as parents, as community members that we teach the truth because the truth shall, shall set us all free. That's right. um, the revolution should shall be literate That's and right. yeah. And yeah. within yeah. being literate, we need to know the truth. Ha, <laughs> ha, 